hi guys uh, welcome welcome to my channel uh, this is the first video that i am posting so today i would like to discuss about uh, authentication and how we can bypass the authentication uh, using injection so i will i would like to explain you with the two point of views the first one is uh, developer point of view and the second one is attacker point of view so in developer point of view i would like to tell how developer has developed the this authentication in later stage in attacker point of view i'll explain you how we can bypass that uh, authentication yeah let us quickly show you in developer point of view uh, this is the authentication module that i have written here i have divided it into two things one is the front end and another one is back end see this is the front end stuff that i have written and this is the back end stuff that i have written and i have used the mongodb as my database as my back end database so let us uh, go through the front end itself so this is the authentication page that i have written using html and uh, javascript it will look like this username which will take username input password input and uh, after that we have to submit them so here uh, if you can see it is the username and it is password field and it is the submit uh, button so if you see this code after you click on submit it will call login function let us see what is the login function here uh, see in login function we are making a http request which is a post method to this uh, endpoint where we are also passing the content type as application slash json and also we are passing the payload uh, uh, username uh, with the whatever the value that uh, end user will enter here and the password whatever the value that uh, end user will enter here so it is regarding the front end stuff uh, let us see how this front end works practically so here i am entering raju and uh, my password and i'm click on submitting after submitting it is redirecting to slash home page see uh, like explained after click on the submit it is hitting the login page let me show you the proof here it is it is hitting this uh, login endpoint after that it is giving me one uh, jwt token so it is about uh, front end and let us quickly go through the back end here I am opening my backend code. Here I have written this backend code in uh, Express.js, which is my favorite one. So I have used MongoDB as database, and here I am using JSON Web Token. So let us walk through this code first. First of all, it will call upon TB uh, connection, and also this app is uh, running on double seven double seven port. So in DB connection, what it will do, it will connect with the uh, URL MongoDB localhost and the port. Oh yeah, after that the connection is successful. Later it will call upon the API function. In the API function, I have written a few routers, uh, which is slash home slash slash login. So let me walk you through uh, all this. Uh, endpoints and what they will do like i said after entering the username and password in the uh, front end it will hit the slash login page let us see what actually happened in the slash login route one business logic that i have written so here i am taking the uh, end user entered username and password uh, like this request.body.username and request.body.password uh, which was nothing but uh, this username and password I'm taking and after that I'm forming a cred object so after that I'm calling auth validate function here I am giving input as uh, this cred object with username and password 
so in auth validate uh, it will take that cred object and it will directly uh, search that uh, username and password uh, within this collection authentication collection in mongodb if it found any result it will give call back uh, with error null and uh, the result with psra suppose if it is unable to found any records so based on that username and password in db it will directly tell authentication failed it will give us error callback since i have entered correct credentials it is login so that means that flow is going to this one so after that uh, what actually happened it is calling uh, it is getting user details i mean it is able to found a result in db uh, how it is able to form let us do that db dot authentication dot find one uh, where username is equal to raju and hash password is equal to just copy it here paste it see if i enter this one i'm getting a record so i'm getting that record uh, so i'm passing this record uh, to this one so after this it is calling jwt sign in with that records uh, yeah here is the jwt sign in what it is doing it will take the uh, username uh, Raju from the record uh, this one and it is going to sign that username with the uh, secret key that I am passing see here uh, I am doing hard coding this key into the code itself but it is also one of the security issue you, you don't do like this uh, actually you have to place this uh, key in secure vault and uh, you have to get that key from that security vault uh, uh, in that way you can uh, develop the code but for demonstration purpose i have placed this uh, secret key here mm, but when you develop don't do this mistake it is a security vulnerability okay here it is taking username but it is siding with this uh, secret key and it is forming one cookie with the key and value key as authorization and value as token so after login if you see this request yeah actually it is sending this uh, json web token to the browser which will let us store in cookie browser okay that is the authentication actually after successful authentication it will sign a token and it will give it to you and it can be stored in uh, cookie browser you can see like this it is the key and it is the value so uh, like this if you give correct uh, credentials username and password it will cross check with the db and from db it will take the username and it will sign that uh, username uh, with a key that i have supplied and it will form jwt and it will give to the browser so later on uh, whatever the endpoint that it is requesting after uh, authentication I mean after all authenticated calls uh, the cookie will be sent like this yeah if you can see it is the authenticated call and browser is sending this cookie along with that so this is the overall uh, authentication procedure uh, like how the developer has developed it so until this we came to know that okay authentication will be developed uh, like this now uh, let us explain you suppose if the same functionality has given to any attacker or pen tester or security engineer so they will do some malicious things uh, with this so let me tell you how the attacker can break this and how he can do authentication bypass uh, uh, let me show you that practically uh, let's jump into the burp suite and uh, here yeah let me uh, go, let us go to login page again and uh, 
let us clear this okay so now uh, we will try to bypass this authentication yeah let's do that go to intercept and intercept is on click on any valid user and any wrong password or any wrong user I click on submit so it will be captured here now you have to uh, tamper this one so let us try to tamper it with uh, a mongo injection payload since i'm using mongodb i just want to uh, inject mongo injection payload here I am giving dollar not equal to null see here I am giving username not equal to null password not equal to null that means uh, username is not equal to null password not equal to null it will give us all the results uh, within the collection actually so let us try that uh, let us forward it and uh, let us see uh, this page is bypassed or not um, I am forwarding it see intercept is on of oh, C hooray I am successfully bypassing that uh, authentication uh, due to the Mongo injection so in this way attacker can bypass uh, authentication using injections suppose in similar fashion suppose you want to bypass the authentication for admin you can give username as admin and password not equal to null and you can able to bypass the uh, admin uh, account yeah it is happening due to uh, injection mango injection because the developer is directly taking the user input and he is not doing any kind of validation or sanitization and he is directly searching that uh, username and password in db so attacker took it as advantage and he has bypassed that yeah that's all for today's video uh, i hope uh, let us meet again on authorization topic thank you